Graphics cards are a fun little piece of technology, and it's also one of the most entertaining things to talk about if you ask us. It's a key component for your PC, especially when it comes to gaming or other graphic intense work like 3D editing. Installing the GPU is fairly simple. You're gonna need to start by removing the slot covers on the backside of your case. Most cases will have this and it's simply just a screwdriver job to get rid of them. As mentioned earlier, you're gonna wanna locate the X16 or the X8 PCIe slots. Once you have enough space and the slot on the back of your case removed, all you need to do is push it in until it clicks into place and once it's secured, you successfully installed your GPU. Most GPUs will need some sort of external power from the power supply, which we'll cover in a little bit. There are a few key things you should remember when buying a graphics card. Video memory is crucial to consider when running at higher resolutions. For example, if you want to run games at 4K, you should opt for a GPU with lots of memory. There is a common misconception that multiple cards will increase the video memory that you have available. This isn't true, however. You will still in reality only have the same amount of video memory as a single card because video memory doesn't scale with multiple cards. Core clock is also something you should consider, but it's difficult to compare graphics cards from different generations. It works fine if the graphics cards are from the same generation, but it's something to keep in mind when looking at this stat. As with pretty much every component, a well-cooled GPU is crucial. If it gets too hot, not only will it mean it's not performing at its optimal speeds, in the worst case it'll mean more wear and tear, decreasing the lifespan of your graphics card and in some cases, could permanently damage it. Make sure you also take into account the physical space that the graphics card will take up in your case, because some of the high-end graphics card models now tend to be quite bulky. You also need to take into consideration the power consumption similar to the CPU. It's crucial when deciding which power supply to go with because some graphics cards can be really power hungry. And as always, check out benchmarks for the graphics cards so you get a better idea of how it will perform in a real world scenario and if it fits your specific needs.